Faye, it's Nana. Welcome back to Mirror Mirror. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about relationships because they are the key to life. So this video, we are gonna talk about the foundation of every single relationship that we ever have. And I think I touched on this slightly in a previous video, but I didn't really delve into it in the way that we are gonna for this video, which is that friendship is the foundation of every relationship. And when we think about our, literally our friends, and we think about family, and everyone that we have in our lives that's in a like platonic way, we always think about whether we're compatible with them in the sense of being friends. We think about whether we like the same things, whether we have similar hobbies or interests, whether we care about the same things, whether we have the same values, same morals, all of those kind of things, because we know whether they're going to drain us and be an energy vampire and be like, somebody that we wouldn't be friends with, somebody that we wouldn't want to entertain, or whether we're on the same wave. Like when it comes to platonic relationships, we are able to look at it very simply and obviously, because it's just about whether we vibe, whether we connect, whether we click. But when it comes to romantic relationships, we don't look at it from that way we tend to immediately go to romance and look at whether they're affectionate, whether they tell us that we're beautiful, whether they praise us and congratulate us on our accomplishments. Like we look at all of the romantic, affectionate side, but we don't look at the foundation of do we have the same morals? Do we have the same interests and hobbies? Are we passionate about similar things? Are we going in the same direction? Do we like the same things? Do we vibe? Do we click? Do we connect? Like, do we get on, you know? And just having that basic foundational friendship, which is essentially what every kind of connection is. It's meant to be a friendship and somebody that you want to be your life partner surely they should be the ultimate friend, like the best of the best friends, because not only are you gonna spend your life with them, but you're gonna have children with them if you want children, like you're gonna live together if you want to live together, obviously you can do whatever you want, but for the most part, people want to live with their life partner, so if you're gonna spend the rest of your life with somebody in the same house and potentially have children with them, and share finances and all of the responsibilities of life, then don't you think they should be a good friend? Like it should be somebody that you actually connect with on a friendship type of level of viewing the world in a similar way. Obviously you're not gonna be exactly the same. You're not gonna have exactly the same hobbies and passions and visions for your goals and your career path and things like that. You're gonna have differences, but the foundational thing of like half of your friends you don't have the same hobbies and things with but you share an outlook on life that matches each other and that's what you need in a relationship like does your outlook on life match this person because if one of you is religious and the other one isn't and it doesn't like you disagree on things then it's not going to work, you know? And obviously in some circumstances it can work, but it's about whether you're able to communicate that and come together as friends, as like a mutual respectful friendship, like it's mutual respect, whether you're able to come together on that to move through that together to like almost agree to disagree on certain things, you know? So I just really see it crystal clearly in my own relationships and in the choices that I've made with keeping certain people around me is that if I looked at them as just being a friend, would I even vibe with them? Like, would it even be somebody that I'd want to have in my life just as my friend? No, because we have nothing in common. We don't like the same things. We don't view the world in the same way. So it's not somebody that I would keep around me. So why the hell would I even want to be with them romantically? It's like we kind of skip that step. 
And we think that because they're affectionate and they're loving and they're kind to you, that that's enough and that that ticks all of the boxes. But we're missing the whole basic foundation of you even having similar values and wanting similar things out of life. You know, there's a lot more to it than just whether you both like to cuddle in the same way. (laughs) Do you know what I mean? So I think for a lot of us, we need to dig a little deeper below the surface and actually make sure that we're in alignment in all of the ways especially when it comes to friendships because being best friends is like the best kind of romantic relationship that you can possibly have and I've experienced that myself so I know how incredible it is to have somebody that's not only a romantic connection but it's somebody that you actually value and you see as your friend you respect them like you care about that person regardless of whether the romantic side of things was there or not you know so it's just something that I think is very important and I thought I would give you some food for thought so yes I hope this video was helpful thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because I do upload four times a week and if you would like a one-to-one session with me the link to that is on my website in my bio description box not bio because this is not instagram it's in the description box below and you can also text or whatsapp me i do send daily inspirational spiritual thoughts and videos by text and whatsapp every day and yeah everything else about me my music my jewelry brand everything is in the description box below and i will see you in the next video bye it's always been my-